Welcome back. Now that we know that parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, in this video, we're going to convert a standard form equation into a slope-intercept form so we can easily identify the slope. Here we are given 4x minus 3y equals 9. We want to identify the slope of this line so we can find some parallel and perpendicular lines. It's not easy to look at this equation and identify the slope. There is a formula to find the slope of a line in standard form, but most likely a formula you'll forget in time. So let's work on a strategy that'll set you up for success. Well, we know in the y equals mx plus b form that m is the slope. So let's solve this equation for y. To get y by itself, let's subtract 4x from both sides first. When we do that, the 4x's will cancel on the left side, and on the right side, I'm going to write my minus 4x first. I can do that because addition is commutative, right? I can commute or move the terms around and preserve the equation. So we're left with negative 3y equals negative 4x plus 9. That's a great first step. Now let's divide everything by negative 3 to get rid of that negative 3, or we can just multiply both sides by negative 1 third. On the left side, the negative 3's just cancel, so we just end up with y. And on the right side, distributing the negative 1 third through, we should get, well, negative times negative is positive, and 1 third times 4 is just 4 thirds. Then negative 1 third times positive 9 is, well, Negative times positive is negative, so minus. Then one-third times nine is just three. So our final answer is just y equals four-thirds x minus three. Great. So we just converted a standard form equation into a slope-intercept form so we can easily identify the slope of this line, which is four-thirds. So what's the slope of any line parallel to this line? The same thing, right? because parallel lines have the same slope. So any parallel line will have slope of 4 thirds. But what about perpendicular? Recall, perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes, so the slope of any line perpendicular to the original line would be negative 3 fourths. Let's take a look at the graphs. Always good to see if your answer makes sense. And for me, pictures are helpful. The graph of our original equation, y equals 4 thirds x minus 3, is here. Well, we can draw a few lines here with the same slope, just with different intercepts. And as you can see, it does not appear that these lines will ever intersect. All three of these lines have the same slope. Well, now let's take a look at some perpendicular lines. Well, perpendicular lines have slope negative 3 fourths. Well, here are a few examples of perpendicular lines. Notice the lines intersect the original line at a right angle. Also note the original line has positive slope, reading left to right it's going up, and that the perpendicular lines have negative slope and going down. We aren't always going to be given equations in a form that suits us best. When dealing with parallel and perpendicular lines, if you're given an equation in standard form, it's a good practice to convert it to slope-intercept form so you can easily identify the slope. 